Hey right guys, Trey from Just Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 9 of Drux Season 2. Um, it's not actually released yet, but the episode should be out any minute now, so I'm just getting the you know intro out of the way. But I enjoyed the last episode, I think it was probably one of the like lower rated episodes for me of the season so far. But to say I still really enjoyed that episode, and it's one of the more lower rated ones, it just shows how great this season has been overall. Um, and I still, like I say, really enjoyed the last episode, I don't get me wrong. Um, it was a very quick one though, and you know, we've learned a little bit more about this B Bjorn, is that how you say his name? Uh, and I'm sure we'll get more into whether he was kind of telling the truth, or what his side of the story was, and then we'll hopefully get Axel's side of the, side of the story in this episode as well. Uh, and, you know, there'll be more heads, we'll see what happens. But I'm interested by Bjorn's character because they've just done it so differently already from the OG, it, like even with that, they have done with everything so far uh, and now even this, like a major story that I wasn't even sure was going to be in um, the season because of how quickly we're getting towards the end but it just benef it just shows how well paced this season is, it's incredible so um, do correct me if I'm wrong, this should be the penultimate episode to the show I'm not personally 100% sure on that, I'm only going off what uh, I've seen from comments on YouTube videos so there might be more than 10 episodes, but that is why I have been told. We'll see, though. Uh, I'm not going to complain if there's more than 10 episodes. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, anyway, guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want the uncut reaction to this episode and the rest of the drug, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below, which really does help support the channel as well. Uh, also links to Twitter, Instagram, Discord, if you want to check out any of those. But for now, my friends, and it is, it is like half one in the morning so apologies if I'm like dying <laughs> but uh, I, I can't I won't be able to sleep if I haven't watched drugs so hopefully it'll come out soon we'll see but I'll see in a bit Peace. Uh, so <clears throat> the episode didn't come out last night um, I, I napped down here for an hour like I was kind of waiting for it and then it wasn't there so I just went to bed because um, I was very tired and then I was like I don't want to do a reaction while I'm tired so I just waited till the morning and now we have it ha 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 have it so yeah anyway guys I did the intro so let's go oh there we go shit the boy's just awaiting Mia what did you tell you? Mia bitte I can you explain that my sister yeah but I can't really believe yeah I, I agree we can't believe yawn gesagt hat, wer wen beleidigt hat. Warum hast du mir nicht gesagt, dass sie tot ist? Ist das was sie mal about? Ich wollte sie irgendwann sagen, aber es war eh alles schon so mega kompliziert. Ich ich hätte sie aber irgendwann gesagt. Ich kann da nicht gut drüber reden. Du hast vor mir jemanden zusammengeschlagen und bist dann tagelang verschwunden. Yeah, now he just comes yeah. back like like I've been mad that like, she was trying to reach out to him, be just completely ignored her as well. Allein, dass du dazu in der Lage bist, sowas zu machen, das ist krank. Siehst du, was du gerade gemacht hast? Du warst gerade so wütend. Du hättest mich fast die Treppe runtergeschubst, wenn ich dir eingetan hätte. Was mir Björn eingetan hat? You just pushed me. Oh, it's gonna kick off. Das Problem ist, dass ich wirklich ehrlich in Alex verliebt war. You are, you are still in love with him. Auf dein Glauben zu scheißen. Klar. Remember the, I say this every time, but I remember this scene being and where I fell in love with Sana, the first in the OG. Like it was the season two, episode eight. Wenn deine Lust irgendwann mal größer werden sollte als dein Glaube, würdest du ihr nachgeben? Das wird niemals passieren. Uh -huh. Aber ja. Seine Schwester ist letztes Jahr gestorben. Alex hat eine Schwester? Hatte. You might not want everyone knowing that, <laughs> but I mean, okay. Das wusste ich gar nicht. Bis letzte Woche. I don't know if the side of it, because Pommy's like, yeah, Alex Axel gesagt, might want to keep that private and it might take him a while to open up about that. Warum hat er dich angelogen? Okay, yeah, the lie was stupid, maybe, but... Der tut so, als hätte jeder in seiner Situation so reagiert. Jemand mit einem Skateboard zu schlagen. Ja, ich weiß. Mia war der Schlägerei wegen Hannah letztens, als diese Mädchen uns angegriffen haben. Ich habe dem einen Mädchen auch die Nase gebrochen. Oh shit. Echt? Das wusste ich gar nicht. <lacht> She looks so proud of it. Yep. Also schließt du Gewalt noch nicht kategorisch aus? Oh. I like that she ich challenges her, it isn't just like a yes person. Like, yeah, okay, I feel sympathetic. Ganz ehrlich, ich 
Ich bin jetzt auch kein Axel. Die Archie Challenges oder was ist sein? Und vielleicht verdient er wenigstens angehört zu werden. Fantastic scene. <coughs> Fantastic, because it was again, it was the scene that we knew was going to come eventually, but what sh she was saying was so very different. Which I didn't think they'd do. I thought a scene like that they'd stay very close to the dialogue that they had originally. Oh, God. Hey. Hey. I just know he's lying about something. What's doing here? Hanging out. Um, oh, she's like, tearing up. It's eigentlich nur eine Sache zwischen mir und Alex. Oh, she's like, sad. Look. Auf geschiedene Eltern. Du auch? Mm -hmm. Ja, ich habe irgendwann den Chatverlauf zwischen meinem Papa und einer alten Schulfreundin von ihm gefunden. Er hat mir da verboten, es meiner Mutter zu erzählen. Aber irgendwann hat sie ihn als beim Nacht Skype erwischt. Skyping nude, oh. yo. Yo, the guy wasn't discreet then, was he? Oh, what? Yo, she said she don't want to be in the story. Because I wife Axel sees it. Axel's gonna see that. There was a reason, usually at the Instagram and all that stuff is left online, away from the episodes, so there's a reason they showed it in the actual episode, surely. Sophie was complicated, but I'm probably going to Hey! I... Jesus, you made you pushing it. Is he joking? Oh my god. I don't like where this is going, I don't know, I feel like, nah. I feel like this is the scene where, like, Nora goes to the party and gets drunk, but they've done it differently, obviously. And I feel like things are about to get a bit, eh, sus. Oh my god, no, I don't... Oh my god! I knew! <coughs> okay. That's sus. Oh, that's grim. Is that him there? Oh my god. What's he got? Yo, this is the... Nah. Oh my god. Yo. Hey, warte doch mal. Lass mich, lass mich. Yeah, I knew that was a reason. Oh my god. Ah. Jesus. Oh, that's a creaky floor, dude. Mia, bitte komm auf. Oh, he's... Mia, mach. Joji! Is that it? Don't piss me off. Oh my god, no. It's all 10 minutes. My heart stopped. Besuch für dich. Oh, Kiki. Hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> I love Kiki. What's denn los? Ich mag deine Brille. I like her glasses Kann too. Kann I'm glad someone hässlich. pointed them out. Was? You Kiki? <laughs> god, I'm glad she's wearing them for her and not Carlos. Oh my god. We're here for you, Mia. Oh, Kiki's such a... Oh my god, I love her. Is this what they've chosen to do instead of, like, Axel? Yeah, kind of. Interesting. I like that they did that, because it just shows more... gives more to Kiki. Oh god, is this the bar scene? Jesus. Um... I do have a massive soft spot for that, like in the OG where William comes in and. Hey. Do you want. What are you doing? Okay. Du hast mir Signale gesendet, ich hab sie falsch gedeutet. Oh my god, Jetzt yo, this geez. I told you. Well, we all know anyway, but. Ich hab dir Signale gesendet, dass du vor mir deinen Schwanz rausholen sollst. She's trying to turn it around. That's great. Ugh. Was machst du denn, wenn du wirklich mal belästigt wirst? Are you dumb? Du hast mich sexuell belästigt. Ich hab dich angezeigt. Was? 
Bist du bescheuert? Wegen so einer Scheiße? Was meinst du, wie er reagieren würde, wenn ich sie ihm zeige? Äh, gerade. Willst du mich jetzt auch noch erpressen? Nennt sich jopathischer Freund. Bricht mir fast das Genick. Du zeigst mich wegen so einer scheiß besoffenen Lapaya an. Wenn du die Anzeige nicht zurückziehst, dann schicke ich Alex die Bilder und zeige ihn dann wegen schwerer Körperverletzung an. Great. I mean, yeah, just... What can I even say? I'm just... Kannst du machen. Hat er verdient. Du denkst echt, dass du irgendeinen so Feministenkampf führst, oder? Oh my god, this geez. Das ist keine Erpressung, ist die Wahrheit. Right. Jog on, dickhead. Uh, what's, what's this going on? Mutti von dir. Ich hab keine Angst vor dir. Oh my god. I they were just waiting for Bjorn to just... Do it. As soon as they got on the bus to get... Oh, when he, actually, back when he was like, I'm gonna do to get beer. The first time. I was like, no, 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 no. It's weg. Ich komm jetzt zu euch rüber. Oh my god. Wait, do they all know? I like that. That's, that's great. Ooh, okay. Excellent. There we go, guys. That is episode nine of Druk season two. Um, like, like I said in the episode as well, uh, we knew this story, or a form of this story was gonna um, come, I guess, because I was waiting and waiting, like, I was like, even, and there was a point where I was, wasn't even sure if they were going to do it, because it was getting so close to the end of the season, but I think, correct me if I'm wrong, they fit two episodes of the OG scam into one episode here, because I think that whole story is during two episodes. I might be wrong. Um, I can't remember exactly, but I think that's during two episodes. Uh, yeah, because in the OG, uh, one of the episodes ends, obviously, when Nora gets drunk, and then you see the hand on her lap, and that's where the episode ends. Um, whereas this one, that was obviously kind of halfway through the episode, and then it did the, the bar scene. Um, I love that they had Kiki was the one to come over for her. Um, Axel did come over, but she didn't let him in. She was listening to my boy, Joji. Um, <coughs> So I'm glad that they did that. They've done an incredible, incredible job with Kiki this entire season. Um, she wasn't always likable, granted, like throughout the season, but she's always been a fantastic character. Um, not so much in season one. I did Kiki to me in season one. She was just kind of like the normal builder. Um, but this season they've <clears throat> tried so well though, and they've, it's really paid off. Uh, and given scenes like that, like like I say, usually that scene is the William character. Uh, so it should have been, not should have been Axel, I'm not saying I really wish it was Axel that was in that scene. I, I don't, I'm glad they did Kiki. Um, but I was expecting him to come back and then let, uh, then she lets him in maybe. But it was Kiki and I, I love that scene. I think that's one of the like changes that they've made that I've really, really liked. I've liked the majority of the changes that they've made. Um, yeah, then we had the scene with Bjorn, the, or the whole middle portion with Bjorn, I guess. Uh, so it wasn't, they changed it up from her going over to William's house and there being, a, uh, yeah, William's house, and there being a party. And they, they already changed it early on when it wasn't even Axel's brother, it was his, not even friend, his sister's ex-boyfriend, I guess. So they, they didn't even like each other anyway. Not that William and his brother like each other, but yeah. Um, and then it got really, the shot was so eerie and creepy when it was like her throwing up behind and you just saw his silhouette, uh, and then he was putting, so I was like, what was that, it was his phone, um, and then he just got dark, like, so quick, I was like, oh, fuck, kind of, yeah, I just didn't know what to say, really, like, seems like that, I'm just like, oh, fucking grim, so, I thought it was, I thought it might have even gone even further, because, uh, like, he was kind of blocking the door, but she got out, thankfully, like, fuck, um, and he was just kind of, yeah, he, he has all those pictures. Uh, he, see, if there is 10 episodes, you, you guys are going to tell me if there's 10. There might be, it seems like there should be 11 because they've got, if you are going from the OG, they've got so much to still to put into one episode. But, I mean, they did a fantastic job of actually, the pacing of this episode was so well done. I, I loved it. Um, it. It wasn't like, I wouldn't say it was the most, it's weird to say that this episode was entertaining to watch because it was a dark episode to watch, but it was a great episode. Like there's no denying that. The way they the dialogue, um, 
even like just changes in the battle with Son, the Sona character, I always forget her name. I, can't, I know there's one remake where her name is actually just Sona, but I can't remember if it is this one. Um, but yeah, her talking to Mia, they changed up quite a bit about that scene, which I thought was fantastic. The end scene there at the bar, that was changed up quite a bit. Love that. Even Axel at the start, the only scene we got with him, kind of sadly, I miss him. Um, that was different as well, about him, like, you know, if you're in my situation, you would push me down the stairs kind of thing. Uh, thought that was very interesting. So, all around, just fantastic. Probably, I don't know if it was one of my favourite ep I don't know if it was my favourite ep No, I still think episode five, was it, or six, the Panic Attack episode, that was still my favourite episode. That was insane. Um, but this one was incredible as well. Mia is just incredible. Like, such a great character, so well written. Um, and at the end of the season, I'm going to rank, like, all the characters and then compare them to the OG probably but she's up there with Nora for me like I, I don't know if she is quite above Nora yet but granted I've had four seasons with Nora whereas Mia's only had two but oh, I don't know she's so incredible I look she's so well written um, acting wise as well amazing so yeah a uh, really good episode kind of a hard one to watch but it was a good episode uh, I'm gonna give it a. Let me think. I'll go nine out of ten. I'll go nine out of ten. I still think the Panic Attack episode was a ten out of ten, and my favorite episode of all the drugs so far. But this one was really, really well done as well. Um, I said this in Scam France in the episode I watched last night, but it's so weird. Like with the Scam France and drug, like they all just getting eights and above for me. Like, and Scam's always been like that. Really, there's never really very low ratings, which is rare to say. You kind of know where the story's going as well, so. Uh, yeah, good, 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 great stuff. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Sound like a sim. Good, great stuff. Uh, there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know. Please let me know as well if there is only one episode left. Because if there is only one, I need to mentally prepare myself for the finale. But if there's more than uh, one left, then I'll, I'll be okay for next week. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you do want the uncut reaction, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below, as well as Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. And I'll see you next time for episode ten. Until then, peace.